practice that I think is so essential to free and open societies is freedom of thought. Um, and up until now, the conversation we've been having is around freedom of speech. Once we can access people's thoughts and access people's emotions, um, we have to create a space that enables people to think freely, to think divergent thoughts, to think creative thoughts. And in a society where people fear having those thoughts, uh, the likelihood of being able to enjoy progress is significantly diminished. Did you just hear that? She said right now the discussion has been around free speech, but basically once we get that out of the way, <laughs> once we get access to people's thoughts and once we get access to people's emotions, we need to create a framework for people to think in so people aren't scared and so people are safe. This is absolutely terrifying. Talk about thought police. Uh, they are fully intending and telling us right now that they plan to have direct access to your thoughts and to your emotions and be able to manipulate them as they see fit, of course, for the greater good.